Chase. Happy Monday. Welcome to Chats with Chase. Here's your next tip. In SOLIDWORKS flow simulation, most users know that you can model inputs like fans, pressures, or velocities, but if you're more interested in the flow from the fan than around the rest, you might find rotating regions more useful. Looking at this, we know we want this whole inner area where the fan is to be the rotating region. We're actually going to create a separate body to help us define that. This face is conveniently at the bottom of the area I'm looking at, so I'll create a sketch on that. Then I'll draw a circle centered here and going around the outside of the fins. I'll extrude that up to this face, the other limit of the rotating region, making sure not to merge the bodies. To make it easier to see everything later, I'll make this body transparent now. Hopping over into flow simulation, I'll use the wizard to set it up. I mostly just need to change it to an external flow and enable rotation. There are a few different types, but let's stick with averaging in this case. I'll add air as the fluid and then finish the setup. Now I'll right click on the rotating region section and add one. It'll prompt me for a selection, which is where I'll choose the body I created earlier that defined the space. I'll have it rotate at 2100 radians per second, but I'll make it negative since I actually want it to rotate the opposite direction of default. The rotating region is now set up, and all that's left to do is adjust some meshing settings and run it. I'll do that, and we'll take a look at some of the results in the next few videos. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.